you know, we spent the entire day for Fourth of July in downtown Crestone, Colorado. And so I actually, it's interesting because there's basically no cell phone service throughout all of downtown. And so I'm shooting this video from my home office because, you know, it's interesting being in downtown. We live in a small town. There's only 800 or 1,000 people that live here. There's probably, you know, a few hundred people in town between locals and out-of-towners. And one thing that you can see collectively on July 4th, and there's a lot of other opportunities throughout the year to see it as well, is that people are naturally tribal. We want to connect with people over similar likes, dislikes, interests, things we stand for and against. If you ever want to know what's the next thing coming up that people are going to connect over as, you know, especially in America is go to Walmart or Target or your grocery store. And you know they have that one or two aisles where they have seasonal things. Whatever's coming up next is like the next thing that people in America are going to connect over. So if we're just finishing up July 4th, let's think. What's the next thing? August, September, maybe Halloween. Something else is going to come up before Halloween. You know, then it's Thanksgiving, then it's Christmas, then it's New Year's, then it's Valentine's Day. You know, and it kind of keeps rolling, right? It's these moments where you can see that there's this, you know, opportunity for connection. It doesn't have to only be around holidays. You know, I see some people connect on different things, right? Like I run a bourbon tasting, and so it's an opportunity for people to connect around bourbons that they like or dislike. I see some other people like my buddy Carl, Carlos Redlick. You know, he runs a poker tournament, and so it gives an opportunity for be, people to be tribal and connect around poker tournament and around the poker game and, you know, their like of the, the game of poker. And so, you know, really, if anything, my message is like how, how do you create opportunities for your tribe to be tribal? Are you doing live events? Are you doing socials? Are you doing that for you know, your database, for you know, under using different interests and, and things that you stand for and against and likes and you know, your own hobbies? Are you creating those opportunities for, for people to be tribal? They wanna be tribal, so give them the chance to do that. You're gonna get a lot of um, ripple effect and blowback on it for your business in a positive way where you know, um, by being the networker, by being the event host or the person that's organizing the event, it's going to automatically put you in a good light. It initiates that law of reciprocity, I believe, so that now people want to give you something back. And that's naturally going to be a referral or some type of business um, that you can, you know, they can give you back. So that's it. That's my message today. After being in Crestone and just seeing the tribalism and the community that was in town all day, it was pretty awesome, is, you know, are you creating those opportunities for your tribe to be tribal and to get together and to create community and, and that sort of thing? And if you're not, maybe something that you should consider is, is you know, be, being the organizer, the creator of the person that allows those opportunities to exist. I hope you're awesome. I hope your 4th of July was amazing. Have a great one. We'll see you.